What's up Chill Slime Squad? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to the crew then welcome to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell to be notified whenever I post. As you guys can see from today's title I'm doing an underrated slime shop review and I am super excited but before we get into it let me just say my normal disclaimer this package was sent to me for free for the purpose of a review however this video is 100% honest and all opinions are my own. Without further ado let's get on to the slime review. This package arrived safely in a nice box. Everything was bubble wrapped. It was a really nice package overall. I'm giving packaging an 8 out of 10. I'm going to let you guys know why in a few seconds. But here is the little care sheet and candies and there was also borax and an alcohol prep pad which I have been finding a lot in slime packages lately. Now the reason why I gave packaging an 8 out of 10 is because these containers actually do rust. Well actually the lids rust. Three out of the six slimes that I received did have rust in the lids. I definitely do want to point that out. It can become a problem so that is why I gave an 8 out of 10. Otherwise everything was perfectly fine. The containers are these cute little mason jars which I think are super unique and here's a closer look at their actual logo. This first slime is called Lilac Blossom and it's scented just like the name. It smells really refreshing. It's not too strong of a scent and I really enjoyed it. The texture is a thick jelly slime. Now this one did have a slightly tacky like sticky residue. I assume that it was just a little bit melted because it has been super hot here which is that's perfectly fine. So I did go ahead and add in some activator however when I added an activator it kind of over activated the slime. So I think what happened was the fragrance oil just made the slime have like a tacky kind of residue kind of feel to it. And because of that, I did go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10. It's still a really good slime. It just has like a weird tackiness to it and I can't get it to go away. So it makes the slime a little bit less enjoyable to play with. Otherwise, it's a really good slime overall. This next slime is called Orange Glitter Sickle and I think the name is so cute. It's very lightly scented. You can kind of almost smell like the instant snow and the clay it kind of smells a little bit chemically. Which isn't a huge deal for me but I know some people do like strongly scented slimes. This one also does give off a bit of a wet residue. I think it's a mixture between the clay that was used and also the instant snow because there is like a little bit of a jelly slime. That glittery slime that you guys are seeing is actually a jelly slime. But I really love the cute little add-ins that they included to add on top. I gave the slime a 9.5 out of 10. It's very sizzly and fun to play with and super squishy. Just has a little bit of that wet residue and wet feeling to it that I'm not the biggest fan of.
Next up we have almond butter and just as a little bit of a spoiler, this one is actually my favorite slime out of the entire package. This is actually my new desk slime. Um, this one got a 10 out of 10 of course. It's dense and it has a little bit of resistance at first. I thought it was going to be a little bit tough but once I started playing with it, it becomes so soft and holdable. It smells just like, like an almond lotion. It smells really really good. To be honest, it reminds me of cocoa butter. Like it just, it's perfect. It's so soft. It almost feels moisturizing. I just am obsessed with this slime. And the cute little almond slivers just add another touch. But like I said, this one is definitely my favorite out of the package. It's my desk slime. I use it when I'm editing. I use it when I'm stressed. This slime is just perfect. If any of them, I 100 billion percent recommend snatching this slime from them because it's amazing. This next slime is cucumber water and this one was actually my second favorite out of the entire package. I gave this one a 10 out of 10. The Clarity. Y'all this slime is so gorgeous. Just look at that. And this has been sitting for a few days so I was expecting for it to expecting expecting. I don't know why I can't talk today. I was expecting for this to slightly be like you know melted but it had a really nice thick and dense consistency which led me to believe that this slime is thick when like fully activated so I went ahead and added a small amount and it was perfect it smells good just like cucumber melon it's crystal clear those little cucumber slices just add the perfect touch to it it has really nice bubble pops and it's really just overall the perfect clear slime I have nothing bad to say about it I love this slime so freaking much Cafe Con Leche is a, another great slime from them. Um, I give this one a 10 out of 10 as well. This one was slightly underfilled, but I'm almost positive that it's because it does include a little extra slime that you add on top, which is totally understandable. It fits perfectly back into the container once you play with it. This one smells really, really good. I have yet to smell like a decent coffee scent. This one smells kind of like a caramel coffee. It smells so good i almost just want to drink it i don't even like coffee but i just love the way coffee smells and this one smells so good i'm obsessed um i don't know if i said this already but i gave this one a 10 out of 10 
It has a really nice texture, almost like an avalanche slime because you have your white base and then you have your clear slime. And when you mix those two together, it creates the best texture. It's super bubbly, still very stretchy, and it's just a really good basic overall slime. And last, but definitely not least, we have Glacier Melt. And this one surprised me a lot because the first slime that I showed you guys was a jelly slime. This one was also a jelly slime, so I was kind of expecting the same thing with this one. But to my surprise, this one was perfect. I really like this texture. It's super thick. It's holdable. It's like the perfect jelly slime. This is what I look for when I look for jelly slimes. I do want to take a brief moment to show the rust that was in the lid of this slime. There was also two other lids that also contained rust as well, so that is why I gave the packaging an 8 out of 10. Rust can definitely happen in metal lids and slimes can become moist with condensation. I don't really like that word. Yeah, um, that can happen. So I do want to point that out. It might be kind of beneficial to maybe add like a foam liner in the lid. That way it won't rust out because that can ruin the slime. However, this slime was perfect. I gave it a 10 out of 10. It has a really nice clean and tropical fruity kind of scent to it. Almost like a tropical laundry soap. It smells really good. It's really thick. Like I said before, it's a nice jelly slime. It's stretchy. It's also super gorgeous. And like, just look at this slime. It's so pretty. It's like an ocean Caribbean escape vibe. I'm here for it. It's really fun to play with. And I really enjoyed this one. This jelly slime was perfect it was amazing which really leads me to believe that the first one was compromised by the fragrance oil that was used so maybe just switch up the fragrance oil and everything will be fine The scoring method is definitely back by popular demand. Y'all just really like when I score the slimes, but promise me that you're not gonna get caught up on the number and you're gonna listen to my reasoning. The reason why I took it away in the first place is because I just felt like people were getting caught up on numbers and not really listening to the video, just looking at the number and automatically assuming the worst. But yeah, in this case, obviously they got pretty high scores because all the slimes were perfect almost. Starting off with the packaging, I gave a 9 out of 10 and I let you guys know that this was because three of the six lids did end up rusting, but that's totally an easy fix. I mentioned it already, just using a foam liner will definitely prevent the lids from rusting in the future. Lilac Blossom got a 9 out of 10. Orange Glitter Sickle got a 9.5 out of 10. 
almond butter, which was my favorite slime out of the package, got a 10 out of 10. Cucumber water, also got a 10 out of 10. Cafe con leche, got a 10 out of 10. And Glacier Milk, got a 10 out of 10 as well. Giving them an overall score of 67.5 out of 70. And when rounded, is about 96%, which is an amazing score. I definitely would recommend checking out their shop. Their Instagram and their website will be linked in my description. Let them know I sent ya. And as always, here are my hashtag Troll Sign Squad members. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed and having your post notifications turned on. If you guys want a chance to be shouted out in my next video, all you guys have to do is be subscribed to my channel. Don't forget to like this video, turn on your post notifications to be notified whenever I post, and leave a sweet, sweet comment using hashtag Trollsign Squad, hashtag Early Squad, hashtag Notification Squad, hashtag Lit Squad, hashtag whatever squad you're a part of at the moment. One more thing before I go, over the weekend I did end up spending some time with my two cousins, Carissa and Alyssa. They live all the way in South Carolina and I miss them so freaking much. So it was so fun hanging out with them. Guys, I miss you already. They actually left today, but they actually let me know that a friend of theirs is a super big fan of mine. So I want to give a shout out to AG. Thank you so much for being a part of the hashtag Trill Squad. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!